Hey guys, so this video is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me video. I'm getting ready to go out and I'm going to be chatting with you guys about friendships, about why friendships don't last and why I don't get in between friendships, why I don't try to reconcile friendships and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to be getting into all of that in today's video, but the star of today's video is a headband wig. I've missed headband wigs, okay? So yeah, this is a headband wig from Clyde Hair, okay? So this is their packaging. Something about this packaging just makes me feel excited. So on the box, it is written, look good, feel great, okay? And at the back of the box, it's going to show you how to, you know, lay your hair and all of that. Let me show you guys the hair. Like I said, it is a headband wig and it is in 26 inches, okay? It is water wave. Let me show you guys the hair. Okay, first of all, inside the box, it comes with this wig bag, okay? This satin bag for storing your wigs, which I absolutely love. And then here, you also get a headband. Ooh, I like this color. I think I'll give this to Cora. I like this color. A wig cap inside this bag. Another headband. Ooh, this looks good. Yeah, so this is another plain pink headband. I'm going to be trying one of them today. And yeah, that's what's inside the box. And then this is the hair. You guys, I've never had any hair in this texture. Like, this is really beautiful. Like, take a look at this. This is gorgeous hair. Like, look at this. Look at this. It's so bouncy, it's so soft. I love this texture. So headband wigs come with this adjustable strap so that you can strap, you know, the band across your hair. And then inside it, it comes with these combs for adjusting it. Can you guys see this? I love this. These combs are very, very important. If you get a headband wig that doesn't come with these combs, please go and look for combs and put in it because you need this to really keep the headband in place in your head. Then it also comes with this adjustable bands as well so that you can make it tighter if you wish or make it looser if it is too tight for your head and the way my hand is just going through it very easily you know ah i love this like i said it's in 26 inches but because of how loose the curls are it's actually longer than uh, some other curly hair okay because these curls are very loose so it's quite long like I can't wait to wear this hair and show you guys what it looks like. Um, but I need to lay my edges first of all because my hair is kind of due. So I'm going to lay my edges and then I'll go ahead and wear the headband wig and then I'll do my makeup as well. Okay, so I have laid my edges a bit. So let me just put on the headband wig and show you guys what it looks like. You guys, can you see this hair already? If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I love headband wigs and one of the major reasons why I love headband wigs is that they're very very easy to wear and install and just be moving. If you don't want to show your edges, you can actually bring the band forward to this place to cover your edges completely. But me, I like to show my edges because it looks finer to me that way on me, okay? But if you don't want to show your edges, you can cover your edges, you can use another band to cover your edges. But you guys, just look at this hair already. This hair is very easy, it's like the kind of hair that you just wear and be going, okay? Especially since it's coily hair, you don't need to brush it, you don't need to straighten it, you don't need to do anything to this hair. It's just going to remain the way it is. This is absolutely beautiful hair. Let me come closer to the camera so you guys can see it. Um, but let me just try brushing this hair to see how it looks. Let me show you guys the full length of the hair. Bear in mind that I am quite tall, okay? So this is what 26 inches looks like, okay? So, this is basically waistline. Okay, you guys have seen that the hair is actually quite long. So, let me just brush it out and see what it looks like when you brush it out. Ooh, it's even easy to brush. Ooh, I like it. I love this, you guys. So, let, okay, I'm going to brush one side and leave one side, okay? So this is the side that is not brushed, right? And this is the brushed side. Let me brush you very well. So yeah, this is the brushed side. It's so beautiful. This is the brushed side. Very soft hair. See how my hands are just... Are you guys seeing this? My fingers are just going through. 
but I think I prefer this brush side because me, I like big hair. You guys know that. I like big hair, okay? Big hair don't care. <laughs> So I'm just going to brush everything out while I chat with you guys, okay? So, um, I saw it. I saw a tweet yesterday. Was it a tweet? Yeah, I saw a tweet yesterday where they said things like you have to do some things to maintain friendships. Um, don't be saying I'm not the calling type. After all, Jesus Christ died for us. Is he the dying type, you know? <laughs> and it made me laugh because personally, I am not the calling type. So, even though in friendships, I try to put a little bit more effort. I try to pick calls, you know, for my friends. I try to talk with my friends more often on the phone, more, more often than I normally would because I'm someone who is very, very comfortable with chatting. I can chat with you for hours. But I don't like phone calls because phone calls kind of keep me in a place. Like when you call me now, it means that I have to answer you right now and talk to you. But if you send me a message right now, I can respond to that message, you know, after filming this video, for instance. Okay, so that's why I really don't like phone calls. Part of the reason why I don't like phone calls, like you're forcing me to leave what I'm doing and answer you at that time. But if it was chat, I can chat with you all day, every day because we respond to each other whenever we are free. Okay, so yeah, but I understand that for friendships, you need to put in a little more effort, you know, to try and keep in touch with your friends, to try and, you know, hang out, to try and talk with them, just to maintain that friendship. Because one thing I realize about friendship is that whenever there's distance or silence, it doesn't make the heart grow fond down. It actually makes you basically lose that friendship over after a while. If none of you decides to put effort, you guys are going to lose that friendship after a while so yeah one of the reasons why friendships don't last you know amongst friends is because of ego because people don't want to be the one to you know break the ice or apologize or say sorry or admit that you really want the next the other person uh, and another thing that really happens a lot is that so many people do not value friendships to start with and that's just the truth a lot of people do not value friendships. A lot of people take friendships for granted. A lot of people are comfortable doing nonsense to their friends, cheating their friends, lying on their friends, leaking their friends' secrets. A lot of women are comfortable stabbing their friends in the back. A lot of people are comfortable dismissing their friends' emotions, their, their friends' um, feelings, whatever their friends are, you know, not happy about. A lot of people are quick to dismiss it because, I mean, this person is your friend, you know this person, so you treat the person anyhow. But when it comes to other people, maybe people that are not your friends, people that they are not really close to, a lot of people are very quick to treat those people better. I hear people say things like, you know, when their friends come to patronize them, their, their friends will be the ones asking for discounts the most, their friends are the ones that, you know, owe them for so long, your friend will come and buy something from you, to pay back will be wahala. It's not the way they came to buy the thing or they came to borrow that money that they will, you know, use and re it's not the same energy that they used to come and borrow money or buy things from you that they will use to return the money or pay for all the votes. Uh, and anytime I hear it, it, it boggles my mind because for me, eh, I don't even owe anybody. I don't owe anybody. I don't try to ask for discount from anybody. Like if you're my friend and you're doing any business, you know that I'll just tell I'll just ask you how much do you buy this thing? I pay your money, okay? And for me, the reason why I do that is that because I value your friendship, I'm the kind of person that will never ask you for discounts. I won't ask you for preferential treatment. I will not. In fact, I'll give, I'll make excuses for you just so that I can patronize your business. Like even if you are selling something more expensive, I'll say, okay, let me buy at least once from this person. Okay. I'm the kind of person that any business my friend does, I patronize them my friend. But if I cannot patronize my friend, like for instance, if you are, you are a construction engineer or something, I, I mean, I can't patronize you. I would link you up with people who will patronize you. Why would I want to cheat my friend? Like, of all people to cheat in this world, why don't you cheat my friend? Like, what do people even call friendship, sir? I'm not saying you should cheat anybody. Don't cheat anybody, but more importantly, do not cheat your friends. Like, even if you want to cheat anybody, let it not be your friend, okay? And aside cheating your friend, a lot of people are very comfortable talking smack about their friends. Like, you call somebody your bestie, but when you are in a place where they're talking smack about your friend, your voice is the loudest. You have a lot to say about the person you're calling bestie, <laughs> the person you're calling, uh, you know, my day one, my this, you know. The person that on the outside you are, or in the person's presence, you are praising the person, you are saying, oh my god, I can't do without you, you're my this, you're my that. But whenever it's time to talk nonsense about that, your friend, your voice is the loudest. You have a lot to say 
and I'm like, why are you still friends with that person? Like, why? I remember one time that it was trending, you know, people were really asking, is the enemy of your friend your enemy? Is the friend of your enemy your friend? You know, those kind of questions. And I remember I always say things like, I don't buy people's um, beef, okay? I don't buy people's beef, especially because, especially if me and that person were like, if I was in between two friends and, it's, and the two friends fall out, I won't choose sides. It was before, I used to be someone who used to buy beef on behalf of other people, like, ah, if you hurt my friend, you know. Until one time when the thing came back to bite me, eh? <laughs> when it came back to bite me, that was when I just told myself, nah, I'm not going to be doing this anymore. I remember in one of my videos a long time ago, I think a q and a, in fact, I've gotten that question several times, when people ask questions like, if you have two friends that are quarreling, do you try to, you know, come between them and settle the case, or do you hands off and just allow them continue their quarrel, what do you do, and I don't know if I answered that question, but my answer is this, right, if I have two friends, I'm equally friends with two people, and they, two of them, are, let's say we're in a group of three, and then two of them start quarreling, I don't come in between it, I don't even try to, you know, settle the quarrel, I just day my day. Now let me explain, for instance, if I have two friends, Ada and Choma, and then Ada and Choma are quarreling, I just maintain my friendship with them. I don't try to come in between the both of them or try to start settling them or try to bring them together to talk. I don't do that. The only thing that I normally do is if Ada and Choma are quarreling and Ada comes to me and says, see what Choma did to me. I don't like it, blah, 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 blah. I'm hot, I'm upset. I'm not, gonna, I, you know, I'm not talking to her anymore. I would advise Ada how to reconcile with Choma. I would advise her. I will tell her where, where she was wrong and... You know, ask her if the friendship is important to you, then look at how to, you know, go about it. Then if Choma most likely will come and tell me what happened between her and Ada, I will tell Choma, this is what I feel, maybe you were wrong or even though you were right, this is the way to go about it if the friendship is important to both of you, okay? But that on my own, oh, you are quarreling, yeah, come and sit down, you, uh, why, did I, why did they do that? You tell her what she did wrong, eh, eh, I don't do that. The reason why I don't do that is... You people are adults, okay? Especially if you are adults. If you are children, of course. I, I start to quarrel with my children all the time. <laughs> you know? But if you are adults, I'm not going to do that because for me, I feel like if you value that friendship, you will work things out, okay? If you allow your friendship to blow up in smoke because of little issues, then you don't value that friendship. You don't need the friendship to start with. You don't need it. So why am I coming there to come and start uh, forcing something that you people don't need? <laughs> Um, the reason why many people don't put effort in friendships is because they do not value that friendship to begin with. So, the same thing that goes with relationships, you know, when you, you meet a guy and guy is telling you, oh, I'm so busy, I'm so busy, I didn't call you in two, three days. Now, lie. He doesn't value you, he doesn't want you, because if a guy really wants you, if a guy really loves you and really values you, no matter how busy he is, even if he's in the middle of the ocean, eh? He's a rig worker in the middle of the ocean. Like, if there's a way he can communicate with land, you'll be the first person, aside maybe his boss or whatever, after that, you will be the first person he will try and, you know, communicate with the moment he can, you know. That's just the way life is. People fight for what they genuinely value. So, when people don't value a friendship, that is when they start allowing small, small beef, small, small nonsense to come in between them. I don't like the way you spoke to me. You like the gaga gaga gaga. Meanwhile, if it's a boyfriend, boyfriend will insult you, insult your father, but you are still there. That's why I said that when people are uh, beefing for little little things that don't make sense to me i see it as you guys don't really value the friendship and uh, there's no point in me coming to come and value the friendship for both of you why what's it concern me like i don't have i don't have work i don't have things to do with my life that i'll come and be be certain quarrel between people now i'm not saying it's bad to start quarrel between two friends so if you're a kind of person that likes to do that you know kudos to you well, more grease to your elbow me i really don't care and it's not just friends for me, even relatives for me. I, I, you will never see me say, oh, let's call this relative. Can I make a meeting? Can I, can I? I used to say then that if anybody for any reason calls me and sits me down and say, uh, you are in-laws or you are relatives or you are cousins, you are aunties, everybody should sit down. Can I be, be, let us say, uh, you know, settle court. Everybody should sit down. You say your own. You say your own. I'm not going to show up for that meeting. I'm not going to show up. Nobody should. <laughs> Anybody I really want a relationship with, I'm going to call the person directly and we're going to settle our issues directly if I want to. Um, yeah, anyway, let me try and lay my edges very well again. Alright guys, so that's it. This hair is from Clay Hair. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, but all the links to this hair are going to be in the description box so that you can go and get this hair for yourself. 
this hair is absolutely gorgeous and very easy to install and remove and all of that good stuff okay you don't need to leave your hair out even if your hair is due like my hair was pretty due. you guys saw how my hair was at the beginning my hair was pretty due and looking on camps but right now transformation on point okay um yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section about the topic for today about friendships and yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah!